Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here at CES 2015. I'm here at Razer's booth speaking with Kevin from Razer. And Kevin, can you tell us what we're looking at? Yeah, what we're looking at today is the Razer Forge TV. So it's our Android TV gaming micro console and the ecosystem of products that goes along with that. Okay, cool. And so it, it's a, can you talk about the internal specs and its capabilities and things like that? Yeah. So in the micro console, what we've put in here is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 805 processor with the Adreno 420 graphics, two gigabytes of system RAM, and 16 gigabytes of internal storage. As far as connectivity goes, we've got Bluetooth 4.1 for peripherals, gigabit ethernet for wired, and wireless 802.11 AC. Okay, cool. So this is essentially um, like a, an Android console, right? Exactly. S similar to like the Ouya, right? But then the Ouya didn't really take off. Um, Partly because you know the hardware wasn't that great, and also the Android games weren't there. Um, do you feel like that's not an issue any longer, or you guys do you guys plan to change that somehow? Yeah. So I think what Google's done with the whole Android TV approach is is really refreshing. So they learned a lot from Google TV um, as far as what to do with that 10 foot experience in the living room, um, and the fact that they integrated into the whole Lollipop ecosystem for Android makes it really easy for developers to develop for multiple platforms, including the Android TV. So we've seen a lot of game titles already available. We're talking with a ton of developers that are working on a lot more. We're really excited about the future of Android gaming in the living room. So uh, for those that don't know, can you tell us a little bit about Android TV? Is it like, do you get, you get to watch Netflix and, and Hulu and all that stuff? Yeah, so Android TV does a couple things. Media streaming is one of them. So you have your Google services as well as things like Hulu and Crackle and um, some other media services included as well. Uh, it also serves as a Google Cast device. So if you have Google Cast enabled mobile devices, you can throw content to the screen really easily. Um, but what we're really focused on when it comes to Android TV is the gaming side of things. Um, and people have been playing Android games in the mobile space for a while. Now we're ready to bring that to the big screen. You can have more people playing at the same time. You can have better quality graphics and more immersive gameplay. Cool. And I noticed you guys have created some uh, peripherals to go along uh, with, with the box. Can you tell us about those? Yeah, definitely. So since we're so focused on gaming, obviously we want to make sure you have the right input device. So we developed the Razer Serval. It's a Bluetooth Android gaming controller designed specifically for the Forge TV, but also compatible with other Android devices. It includes a phone clip so you can attach your mobile device, game directly on that, or put four of these connected to a controller and do multiplayer gaming in the living room on the TV. Are there, are there many uh, you know, four-player Android experiences, or is that something that Google's you know, going to be pushing moving forward? Yeah, there's quite a few multiplayer experiences, anywhere from two players, we, there's four players, there's even some titles that do up to eight players by leveraging soft remotes for the other controllers. Um, so we're already seeing a wide range of games from single player all the way to um, intense multiplayer, whether it's co-op or it's versus with your friends. It's a great way to get back into a social environment in the living room um, and do some gaming with your friends on a shared screen environment. Okay, and you know because we're Maximum PC, I, I do have to ask. Uh, this does also stream to the PC as well. Yes, yeah, so or because from the PC rather. Yeah, um, because we're Razer and obviously we're, we're very focused on PC gaming. What we wanted to do with this device was uh, act as a portal to bring that PC gaming experience from the room in your house where your desktop is into the living room. What we wanted to do though was make sure that it wasn't a limited experience. So regardless of what graphics cards in your desktop, our service is going to support that. Regardless where you get your games, what library it's in, uh, we aggregate them in our Razer Cortex software. So it aggregates and it's also a game launcher. Um, we have over 10 million users of that software today. So in Q2, we're going to add a beta version called Cortex Stream, and that's going to give you the ability to take all those games and stream them to the living room. You can play them with the servo controller, um, but then there's a lot of games also that were better played with the mouse and keyboard. So we've got a peripheral for that as well. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, so what we have is the Razer turret. It's a gaming lap board and mouse, docks in that cradle there, unfolds, designed to sit on your lap. Uh, Anti-ghosting gaming keyboard, uh, leverage off technology on our Blade 14 inch notebook product. Uh, built for Android with some Android navigation, but also compatible with Windows. So it's a Bluetooth connection to our Forge TV. If you are connecting direct to a computer and you don't have Bluetooth, there's an RF dongle that you can pull out of the mouse and stick in the computer. Um, when you're gaming in the living room, a couple things you need to consider. You want it to be ergonomic and comfortable on the lap. So we have a non-slip rubber surface, so it's comfortable and stays put. We also, with the wireless mouse on the mouse pad, has a magnetic feature, so when you have some angle to it, it won't slide off or inadvertently move. Whether you're taking your hand off to type, or you're uh, moving it around and you go over the edge a little bit, keeping the sensor on the pad, uh, gives you the maximum space you can use to have that precision mouse control. Okay. Yeah, I saw something, I mean, first of all, I want to say, like, 
this looks really cool. I've, you know, I love PC gaming, but right now I feel like it's struggling um, in, you know, in the living room because there is no device like this. Um, Rocket, you know, revealed something very similar to this. There's, there's Sova. Um, it's, you know, there's going to be a lot of comparisons between the two devices, you know. Um, so I think some of your detractors might say like, oh, how come this is not using a mechanical keyboard? And uh, why is the, 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 you know, the trackpad so small, the mousepad so small? I mean, what do you guys have to say about that? Yeah, so there were definitely a lot of things we considered when we were developing this product, and we wanted to make sure that we had provided a great keyboard experience. Um, on our Blade PCs right now, we have the same keyboard. We get a lot of compliments from gamers that use that in a mobile environment where they can't take a mechanical keyboard with them, and it's a great uh, solution for um, keyboard entry for the games. On the mouse side of things, we leveraged off our Rochi design, which is a great mobile mouse that we already produce. Um, basically added in that magnetic feature so it works well with the lap board when you're in the living room environment. Um, so we think it's going to be a great solution for PC gaming in the living room. Um, and that's just, you know, one of the hurdles was that input device. The other hurdle was that streaming service. Um, and now that we're widely compatible on that, we really think we're poised to bring the entire PC gaming experience to the living room. Cool, and can you talk about like the battery life of this thing, and then also is there going to be any latency and things like that? It is running off of Bluetooth, which yeah. isn't known to be the fastest, um, you know, input, you know. Yeah, so battery life-wise, it charges in the cradle. Uh, once it's fully charged, it get about four months of battery on the keyboard itself, and about 40 continuous hours on the mouse. Uh, when it comes to latency, um, because the hardware, both on this side as well as the console side and the streaming solution software, is all developed um, with Razer. Uh, what we can do is really maximize both the lower latency on the software as well as the hardware. Um, so our engineers have been hard at work really reducing every millisecond they can from that latency to make it the best experience possible. So speaking of latency, can you talk about the actual um, streaming from your PC uh, to the box itself? Um, you know, like what is the latency like that going to be like? Yeah, so we're looking at being able to do uh, 1080p resolutions at 60 frames per second. Uh, we don't have any numbers we're sharing as far as latency times right now. Um, so in Q2 when the beta comes out, um, we'll be able to share a little more information at that time as far as what we're able to achieve on the latency. Um, we've been showing some closed door demos here and uh, the latency uh, is not uh, zero, obviously. There's always going to be latency through a network. Um, but as long as it's minimized to the point where it doesn't detract from the gaming experience, that's the real critical factor. Gotcha, cool. And, and so, so there is going to be some sort of UI that you said aggregates all your PC games yeah. together. Is that, I mean, is that going to be very time intensive for you guys because new games are coming out all the time? Do you have to add them or is it pretty much like automated procedure? You just, it just grabs from like the Steam library and then it grabs from like Origin and stuff like that? Yeah, it or? basically grabs from all those libraries as well as anything you've installed on it, even disk-based games for that matter. So we already have that part of the solution up and running and have had it for a while with our Razer Cortex PC software. Over 10 million active users of that platform today are aggregating their games and launching their games from Cortex. It also does game optimization within that engine as well. Um, so we're, we're, you know, as far as the game library, we're ready uh, to support that fully. Uh, the bigger challenge was actually getting that stream going over. Uh, so the technology we're using is proprietary. It's not like an H.264, H.265 encoding. Um, and so it's built from the ground up for game streaming. As long as the game is DirectX 9 or higher, we're going to stream. Okay. And so for streaming, it, it does support Wi-Fi. I noticed you guys have Ethernet. Um, you know, like how close do you need to be uh, to the router because you know where I live there's like dead spots in my house and stuff like that so I mean like what is your range you'd say with the yeah device? so it really depends on the network environment of course how many devices are connected other bandwidth limitations in there um, a wired is obviously the you know, preferred way to go gives you the biggest pipe to push the data through uh, wireless if you have AC that's a, a great choice um, but if you have energy and you have a very clean network environment it'll work for that too uh, the way we do the solution is that we um, do a mix of optimizing the frame rates as well as the resolution and quality. So it'll auto detect kind of your network environment and, and give you the best resolution as well as frame rates that it can. Okay, so it adjusts on the fly. Okay, and uh, two final questions, uh, price and release date. Yeah, so on the uh, Razer Forge TV, it would be $99 for the console. Uh, the Razer Servo controller will be $79, that includes the phone clip. We'll be having a bundle of those two together for $149. And then on the streaming software, that's going to come out in Q2 as a beta. Same timing as this lapboard will come out. The lapboard mouse and the charging cradle are all be priced at $129 for those together. Awesome. Cool. Thank you, Kevin. My pleasure. For more on Razer and uh, CES, check out MaximumPC.com.